Hey guys, welcome back. This is Andrew from All Right Solutions. Um, we're on part five now of the tutorials, and we've created the web service. And what we need to do now is um, basically copy these DLLs that we created over to the web server, as I mentioned in the last tutorial. Uh, create the web config file, and then reference the um, reference them as a handler, so IS knows what to do with them. Okay, so <clears throat> basically you just need to connect to your web server. I use WinSCP as a client, um, which is free. So basically what I've got on the um, root of the, uh, the website is I've created a, a folder called services. And then within that folder, <coughs> um, we've got a bin folder. So you'll have to create the bin folder. Um, obviously, a new, new directory. Um, and then within the bin folder, what you need to do is um, copy these three DLLs that you created um, over into this bin folder. And then the web config file that we're going to create in a minute needs to sit outside of that bin folder. So I've already copied these across by the way over to the, the bin folder so I'll just skip that bit. So the web config um, looks or should look something like this. So what we've got is this handlers section. Um, the name is going to be for example, when we browse uh, to the actual web service through the, the URL, what we've got is um, obviously the, the web address, the root, and then the services folder that we created. Um, and then what the client is going to call is, say, I don't know, yeah, I can see, you can see I've already done one there, but you could have like show, show my apps or whatever, show apps. So that's the bit that we're going to call. So that that's going to go here. Fetch apps. That can be anything that you want. The path is going to be the same, and then the type is going to be. Um, our main DLL which we created before which is the um, the web service tutorial so if we look back at our project uh, this is where the, the actual handler process is, is living so what we need to do is you scroll to the top we'll take the um, the namespace put that in there and then dot and then the name of the class. Like so. And that's all we need, basically. Um, if you write more DLLs and or use the same DLL but with different functions, you can have more than one um, more than one class within this namespace obviously. So you could have um, dot get vehicles or whatever um, so you can have multiple within that same the same namespace same DLL so what we could do is we could create another entry by just simply just um, doing this and just giving them different names and then whatever that class is. Okay. And obviously you need to copy the DLLs in the bin folder. Right, once that web config has been created, 
it's then just a case of um, of copying that over to your FTP server. If you're going to um, have the bin folder within the root, then you're probably going to already have a, a web config file already sat there. So it'd just be a case of just editing that and just hand, adding in the handlers section um, that I showed you before. Um, and you should be good to go. Okay, so now that that's done, um, we should be able to call fetch apps. And there we go. So that is the result of the call to the rest uh, web service. Um, as I mentioned before, we've got the brackets that are um, inserted and appended to it. Um, I can't remember if, if it's with or without that um, Android likes. I think it might be without, to be honest with you. But um, What I've done there is, because I'm browsing directly to the URL to test it, instead of using write response greetings from the web service, what I've done is um, basically just done that and that's returned. So that should then pass, sorry, pass into there and then what I've done is um, I've actually just set the application name to that because I know that is one of the names within the SQL database. So if you just save that, republish the DLL, copy them back over to the bin folder again and um, give it another blast and then this is the result that you get. Okay guys, well um, thanks for watching. Um, the next series of videos um, will be creating the Android application and uh, calling this web service and we'll populate a, um, a list view um, from these results. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you later.